What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We got to go over Baby Doge. Lots of good stuff for today to talk about. So definitely hit that like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. Leave a comment in the comment section. And if you want to support the channel some more, you can go ahead and join and become a member of the channel. So definitely check that out as well. And if you want to check out my other channel, Marcellus Clips, you can see little small clips of these videos if you don't want to watch the full videos. But anyways, let's get straight to it. Let's talk about Baby Doge. We got so much to talk about today. And what we were talking about yesterday during the live stream was big because we had actually just crossed the 1.7 million holders threshold. And now we're finally past 1.7 million holders. So this has been a long time coming here with Baby Doge. We've been at 1.6 million for the longest. And now we're finally at 1.7 million. We're literally at 1,700,688 holders. Hit that refresh button, 1,700,699 holders. So we got 10 holders within like the last 10 minutes. So yeah, this is pretty good. Or this is pretty good. We're like continuing to grow here in Baby Doge. We're getting lots of holders by the day. And yeah, we're doing way better than a lot of other projects out there. So shout out to the whole Baby Doge army out there. Shout out to all the new holders as well as the old holders. It wouldn't be possible without both. So shout out to everybody out there. I'm one of the old time holders, one of the OG holders. I've been in Baby Doge since the, after the first month it was created. So since the second month Baby Doge has been created, I've been here. So big shout out to everybody in the Baby Doge army because this is a special community. But uh, anyways, you can also see that we are only down 8.9% in the last 24 hours. <laughs> so yeah, I say it like only down that much. But it's not that much really to be honest. It's not that much. So considering we still have 138% inside of the last 30 days, yes, we are deleting a lot of those gains right now, but hey, it's not as bad as, as it could be. We're not all the way down here at 8Z12, 8Z11, 8Z10. But I'm telling you right now, for people that are long-term, if we do hit these levels back here at 8Z12, 8Z10, all that, then that's going to be a buying opportunity that will probably never present itself again. And who knows, even to this moment right now, that opportunity probably may never present itself. We may never, ever see 8Z1 again. We, ne we may never see 8Z12 again. We may never see 9Z9 again. So I'm just kind of saying that now. We may never see these levels again. But if there is a small possibility, a small chance that we do see these levels, you do not want to pass up on that opportunity to pick up more. And that's pretty much what I'm saying here. Because I, I will definitely pick up more if we go back down to 8Z1 or 8Z12. And I will be more than happy to watch us pump all the way up to 6 z one so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with both. But right now, if we do continue to pull back, it's looking like we're going 8Z22. So we're going to have to see what happens there, and I'll keep you all updated. We'll do a whole technical analysis at the end of the video, so don't worry. Um, Now, moving on from uh these little prices here on CoinGecko, we want to talk about over here. So this is pretty cool. Popular Web3 aggregator OpenOcean has listed Baby Doge and Baby Doge Swap liquidity for trading on their platform. And uh, we, they say this gives Baby Doge a wider reach along side doge sheep and bnb and make it easier for more users to access baby doge and that's really the goal as easy we want it to be easy for everyone to access baby doge we want everybody to be able to jump in on baby doge we want everybody to be able to join this so another exchange listing us even if it's just listing our swap listing our liquidity pair like that's all we need Anyways, Open Ocean says over here, uh, woof woof, and a big welcome to the uh, Baby Doge coin community. The Baby Doge token and liquidity have been integrated into Open Ocean. So this is pretty cool. Now we have our token and liquidity now integrated into the Open Ocean. So they also say trade, swap, bridge into or bridge out of Baby Doge. Secure your bags with our gas fee, our, our gas free limit orders. So yeah, there's no gas fees for their orders on here. So this is pretty cool that they got this going on for Baby Doge. I'm going to go ahead and go to the website. So here it is. You can see BUSD, all that good stuff here. And uh, now they have Baby Doge on here. So I think it's pretty cool that we got this. You can see Baby Doge right here. So what's also pretty cool, like they said, Bridge, you can go from Baby Doge to BUSD. I mean, you can go from Baby Doge to Floki. You could do so many different pairs here for Baby Doge. So shout out to them for getting Baby Doge. You can go, you can bridge Baby Doge to AVAX. Like, you can do a lot of stuff here. Um, bridge Baby Doge to USDC. So, shout out to them for this. Like, I mean, if I ever need to bridge Baby Doge to Ethereum, I need to get over to the Ethereum, and I only have Baby Doge, and I know exactly where to go. And this is pretty cool because they have other coins. It's not just Baby Doge, you know. They got a lot of other coins that you could bridge over here. So, shout out to them for this. This is pretty cool. They even have uh, Bryze over here. Bitgirt. 
it does say BSC scan. So this is is the Binance Bitger. So you got to remember that. But um, yeah, they got Bitger over here. They got a lot of different stuff over there. So shout out to Open Ocean for having us listed onto there and for having Bitger listed too. I like Bitger. But um, anyways, moving on from all that, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna talk about this. So we are now at fifty two point eighty seven million dollars liquidity. Yes, we are losing liquidity inside of Baby Doe Swap. Baby Doe Swap is going down and it is decreasing little by little with the liquidity and stuff like that. And you can also see the volume for Baby Doge is at the 24 hour area for $2.05 million. So our volume is pretty good as well as our liquidity, but we are losing money inside of Baby Doge Swap. So you are seeing the liquidity drop and the volume is up a little bit from yesterday. So that's not bad at all either. And um, yeah, our buyback burned now at $12,671. And you can also see we're almost at 203 quadrillion total burned. And now we're at 202.962 quadrillion. So we're almost there. And then uh, our last 24 hour baby doge burned is now 17.3 quadrillion baby doge burned in the last 24 hours. So we got a lot going on for us there. And then also we can't forget about the burn portal. The burn portal is also moving pretty big right now. We have 31.8 inside of uh, the burn portal right now. And you can see my wallet is not connected currently because during the um during the whole thing that we did yesterday, we were we made a whole uh, live stream video where we donated to the wallet that I made. And then we went ahead and we burned. So I'm going to do that probably every live stream. So I just wanted to go ahead and, you know, connect my other wallet back to it. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this uh my main wallet back so that you can actually see what i see on my main wallet and what i see on my main wallet we're going to be talking about my farms so yeah anyways this is my main wallet that i have here now but yeah 31.89 uh trillion inside of a uh, baby doge burned on the burn portal which is a lot it was only 30 trillion yesterday and now it's um 31.89 trillion almost 2 trillion in a day so that's a lot that we did and uh as you can see all the other burns last 17 hours our last 24 hours, 17.396 trillion. And then we have Baby Doge bought through the burn portal at 43.8 trillion. So people are also buying through the burn portal as well. So moving on from this, though, I wanted to show the farms. So as you can see here with the farms, we're now at 37% APR. Uh, the liquidity is dropping. It was at 6.2 million yesterday, total liquidity. Now it's at 5.9 million. So you're also going to see uh, it's going to be dropping all over. So I would now have 162. It was at 195, but I'm going to continue to hold inside of this pair. And I like the reward. So I'll just continue to hold that. And uh, also here for DeFi Llama, a lot of money is not a lot, but you know, money is coming out of DeFi. We had like 51 billion. Now it's at 49.98 billion. So some money has came out of DeFi inside of the last day. But um, you can also see over here, we're at rank 115. So we are going down in the ranks a little bit. Uh, $51.92 million total value locked. So, yeah, we're doing still fairly good. We're still above sheep, so we're still doing good there. But let's talk about the, te the technical analysis now for Baby Doge. So the first thing we got to talk about here with the technical analysis, we talked about this yesterday in the live stream, how we broke down below the support. But, yeah, we cannot get back above it. We tried twice. We tried here. We tried there. Couldn't get back above that resistance. And now you can see we're setting another resistance. Like I was mentioning in the previous video, we have minor resistance levels, too. Like one here at 28 to 2700, we have those minor uh, resistance levels now we're now getting rejected at. So it does look like we're slowly but surely dropping down here to 8Z22. And I've been mentioning this a lot because that's just where the next area for us to go to is, is 8Z22. So that's what I'm expecting here for Baby Doze. I'm expecting to see 8Z22. And then after all of that good stuff, we should probably end up seeing Baby Doze even lower than that if it continues to go down. If it continues to go down, then we can expect to then next see even below 8Z22, 8Z12, if we continue to go down from there. So this is 8Z22, and then the next area is 8Z12. That's why I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. It's always a possibility, but we'll have to see whether or not we actually go all the way down there. So we'll just wait and see what happens there with Baby Doge. But yeah, shout out to the Baby Doge army. I think we're still good. Um, we're still inside of a uh, good standing here on Baby Doge. And like I said, it's it's not that bad if we go down to 8Z22 or 8Z12. It's just another buying opportunity. So that's just how I see a buying opportunity presents itself. But when you look at the indicators, all the technical indicators, they all lead to us going down to 8Z22. 
If we don't, we do have support here at 8Z25. So we could end up stopping there before we hit 8Z22, but we could hit either one of those hit areas. And if we do break 8Z25 and also 8Z22, then we also have to look down here for this next support. We have more support down here at 8Z15, 8Z15 to 8Z16. And then we also have down here 8Z12 all the way down to 8Z10. So we do have some supports for Baby Doge. If we were to go down, it wouldn't be that bad. So I'm, I'm okay with everything. But yeah, let's move on from this. Let's talk about Bitcoin also, because we did a technical analysis live during the live stream for the Bitcoin. And you can see here we had this little wedge triangle that we're going through. And now we're at the bottom of it. So now we're trickling to the end of this wedge pattern. And it's pretty good because we're now getting a bullish signal on our oscillator that's telling us that we're probably about to break out to the, on the um, upside here. You can see we're at this area here now. And there's supposed to be moderate to high activity. So you actually may see a lot of buying pulling up. And um, over here, you can see we had a lot of selling, but that quickly turned into buying here. Now you can see there's a bullish signal because now the selling is slowing down and the buying is now speeding up. So now you're going to see here on the oscillator, we're going to have a wave leading on the upside and we're going to see some buying coming in on the oscillator. So that's good as well. So we're waiting for that. We're waiting for that next buying wave. And I think it's going to bring us to the upside of this triangle wedge here to 25K. So we're going to probably end up getting up there pretty soon again. So let's see how that happens. But yeah, this is pretty much what I got for you all for the uh, technicals. So yeah, this is all I got for you all today. Definitely hit the like button and subscribe though. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. Also, if you want to become a member of the channel, definitely check that out below and become a member of the channel And uh, if you want to support the channel. And also, if you want to check out my other channel, Marcellus Clips, there's link is in the description. And you can find all the small clips to these videos if you don't want to watch the full videos. So check that out as well. And as always, I'll be back with another video.